Until Dawn certainly has had a troubled developmental past. The game was initially meant to be released on the PlayStation 3, and the plan was also to make it a first-person shooter title that exploited the Move controller. After the game went dark during 2013, someone assumed that it was actually cancelled. However, until Dawn resurfaced at Gamescom in 2014 and showcased a significant number of changes. Obviously, move support had been dropped in favor of the DualShock 4, and the game would now be played in first-person view. Moreover, it would release on the PlayStation 4, a bold move. Hello? Usually, there are good reasons to be skeptical of a troubled there? developmental phase, as history recorded many incomplete or rough games when it happened. Thankfully, this is not the case with Until Dawn. Supermassive Games managed to wrap up a polished and awesomely satisfying package here, despite going through numerous challenges and issues in the past. One of the great things about Until Dawn is that you'll actually be able to play as all these characters at one point or another in the game. Granted, some of them enjoy far longer playthroughs than others, but the relevant point here is that you're ultimately responsible for everybody's fate. All of them are at severe risk of death in this fateful night, and you need to keep them alive on your own, at least until dawn. This single feature ensures that players will get multiple perspectives on what's going on and on the characters themselves. Early in the story, it's pretty easy to write off a certain character as an asshole, but while playing as him or her, you might change your mind. Just like in the best movies or books that we might read or, or watch. The defining gameplay element, however, of Until Dawn is without a doubt the butterfly effect. A choice and consequence system that creates ripples in the game depending on whatever choices that you happen to make. They will always affect someone else at some other point in time, just like in real life. Not only determine whether the character will die, but also in regards to the plot and to the relationship between all the characters. In terms of raw gameplay mechanics, if you get annoyed by doing quick time events, then perhaps Until Dawn isn't quite the game that you're going to be looking for, because most of the control system here revolves around these quick time events. However, it, these are typical for this kind of interactive story-driven adventure, and ultimately, even if you miss a quick time event, there's no such thing as a game over screen. Because of the butterfly effect, it all just becomes part of the story, thus preventing most of the frustration usually associated with quick time events. Until Dawn is a very interesting and intriguing game. Nothing is as it might initially seem up here on this mountain, and the writer is definitely did an amazing job weaving together this amazing story right here, and it's guaranteed to grab your attention because of the way that it engages you. Until Dawn might first appear to be a cinematic masterpiece, which it is, but it's also a masterpiece of a game because of the way that it actually lets you play this game. Because while it is indeed sort of like playing a movie, you're not just playing a movie. You're playing an incredibly scary, deep, and engaging game. More to get to a point-and-click variety, however, having a lot of scary aspects to it, Until Dawn actually really does make you want to play. It pulls you in and makes it an, an overall great experience. So while it does look as if you're sort of playing a movie, per se, you're not. You're playing an incredible game that has a lot of potential and that can be fun for just about anybody, so long as Not in the bag, you enjoy you? jump scares, because my god, you will have a few jump scares in this. I'm Jeff, for WCCF Tech Reviews. Maybe I shouldn't pull on that person's stuff. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Wow, 
Oh, nice shooting, Tess. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Man, it is it's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here. All came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Closer. Guess we gotta wait. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what, let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. 